Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Apple self-driving car that is actually rumored to be in production, so let's jump right into the video. So Apple is rumored to actually be building a self-driving car in Silicon Valley right now, and they're actually looking for locations to test it out. According to The Guardian, Apple is actually looking in the San Francisco Bay Area to get their hands on this new testing grounds to test out their new self-driving car. The Guardian really has let us in on this new information. Documents actually show off the rumored car and the car project appears to be much further along than many of us were actually expecting. Apparently back in May, engineers from Apple's special project actually met with GoMentum Station, which is a 2100 acre naval base, former naval base in the San Francisco Bay Area that's very, very secretive with barbed wire, big fences, everything, you name it. Apparently, The Guardian is saying that Apple would like to actually test out their self-driving car there to release it in the near future. Apple actually has declined to comment on this, which usually means they have some sort of theory or plan behind this. And it is very interesting to actually think about Apple releasing their own car to the market. So GoMentum Station actually is one of the biggest naval weapons stations back in the day, and it's huge. It's got 20 miles of paved highways and city streets, which makes it perfect for Apple's car to actually be tested out there. And the base is also close to the public in Silicon Valley, which Apple used to have a big threshold in. They still have a bunch of offices there to do production of the car there as well. I know a lot of actual car developers out there like Mercedes and Honda have actually tested out their cars there. Other actual factories and brands have tried self-driving cars there as well as a good testing ground for those. It obviously is going to appeal to Apple if real car brands are using this for now. And it will be interesting to see if Apple actually uses this. This is a great lead on into this. Now the GoMentum station apparently was postponing certain things to actually make room for Apple to keep everything moving and that sort of thing. But Apple actually still has declined to comment on this. But a self-driving car has always been in the actual repertoire for Apple, the theory of moving into the future. So we'll actually have to wait and see. Many technologies, as you guys know, like Uber and Google services have started to actually get into car services. And so it would make sense that Apple would get into the car service themselves. Silicon Valley actually has been a big place for robotic cars and self-driving cars to be tested and would make sense for Apple to do this. They have a lot of money, a lot of capital to actually just go invest in the cars, invest in the area. And big, big name companies like Tesla, Google, Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz have tested on this ground before. So Apple actually should have a good chance of testing its actual car there and testing its waters. GoMentum Station said they had to actually sign a non-disclosure agreement with Apple, which is an NDA, means that they cannot actually share any proprietary information or details related to this. They can only say that they're actually working with Apple at this location, but that's about it. They can't release any other specs besides that. But overall, this is very exciting news, guys. The Guardian is a great, reliable web news source, and I'm excited to see what Apple will do with their car. I know CarPlay is becoming very, very popular in cars. It's rolling out this year. It should be a big deal. And self-driving cars are actually a big deal coming out in the future. So seeing as those are a big actual idea for the future, Apple might as well just try its waters. Why not? I would be excited. I would test drive one of these. So we'll have to wait and see. My thoughts on it, I think it's going to be cool. I think it's actually very feasible. I think this actually will happen if these grounds are being tested. At the very minimum, Apple is playing around with a car. Um, if they don't release it in the near future, they're definitely getting some hands-on experience for the future. So I think they will come out with one some point in the future. Who knows when, though? Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the Macintosh Review. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and follow me on my social networks down there. I post on those regular basis, so those are great ways to follow me. Also, be sure to stay tuned for more videos to get paid iOS and Android apps for free down there in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.